I need some help with my homework, Hobbs. What's the assignment? I'm supposed to write a paper that presents both sides of an issue and then defend and defends one of the arguments. What's your issue? That's wrong. I can't think of anything to argue. That's hard to believe. I'm always right, and everyone else is always wrong. What's to argue about? How do we think of an issue to debate for this dumb paper? Well, what issues do you care about? I don't care about issues. I've got better things to do than argue with every wrong-headed crackpot with an ignorant opinion. I'm a busy man. I say either agree with me or take a hike. I'm right, period. End of discussion. Um, right. See, there, see, everybody's happy. So, what am I going to write about? Hmm, we'll need to put our th put on our thinking caps. Hey, thinking caps! That's what we need. Come on! This is a great idea. Boy, what would I be without you? Conceivably, you might be working on your assignment. Well, use this colander for the thinking cap. The, its metal surface can conduct electrical brain impulses and reflect brain waves. Next, we'll need to attach those input and output strings and a grounding string. Why a grounding string? It's like a lightning rod for brainstorms. I want to keep my ideas grounded in reality. I think you're too late. We'll also need to build a transformer for the atomic cerebral, cerebral enhanceltron. The thinking cab is all set. Let's turn it on. Click. Did it work? I think so. I feel smarter already. <laughs> what happened to your head? Evidently, an unanticipated psychological consequence of cerebral augmenta augmentation. My brain swelled. If your hands don't fit, will you give them to me? My powerful brain is unraveling the mysteries of the universe. It's amazing. All natural laws can be reduced to one simple unifying equation. Really, what is it? Already, my powerful brain is bored with such simple problems, and it's now working on why girls are so obnoxious. The, now that the thinking cap has enlarged your brain, you can write your you can write write your homework paper. I consort. Calvin, dinner time. Uh oh, wait till your parents see you, your head. I am, I am implying my powerful brain to the dilemma. Dilemma. I know. We'll wrap my head in this veggie. That will, will allay any suspicion. Your powerful brain must know something I don't. Calvin, come down for dinner. I'm not calling you again. Hurry up with the turban. There. Sorry I'm late. I was unavoidably detained. Calvin, we don't eat at the table looking like that. Take off the sheet. Uh. <laughs> um. Thank you. I don't know why I worry. They never notice anything. I brought you some fish from dinner. Obvious, obviously, I don't need to eat, eat brain food now. Oh boy. Okay, let's get down to business. I'll apply my powerful brain to the problem of the homework. Hmm. How's it going? Good, I just remember what the assignment was. 
my powerful brain has come up with a topic for my, for my paper. Great. I'll write about the debate over Tyrannosaurs. Were they fearsome predators or disgusting scavengers? Well, which side do you want to defend? Oh, I believe they were fearsome predators, definitely. How come? They're so much cooler that way. Let's see. To argue about Tyrannosaurs were predators and not scavengers, we'll, we'll need to write a brief overview over here of Conosaur Evolution. Well... All right, so then we'll dive into skeletal structure, skull design, arm strength, potential running speed, and environmental factors. Well, first, we'll draw some pictures of a T-Rex eating people in the Natural History Museum. I notice your head is shrinking back to normal size. Your forehead is back is back to normal. My the brain in Hanson must have worn off. But you still haven't written your paper. Oh that's the easy part. The hard part was getting a top topic and making these funny drawings. No, all I have to do is write everything I know about tyrannosaurs. It'll be a breeze. Once I'm, for once, I'm guaranteed a good grade. Calvin, time for bed. Time for bed. That's all I said. But I haven't finished my paper for school. School yet. I need more time. How much more do you have to do? I just have to write it. <clears throat> You mean it's bedtime and you haven't even started writing your paper for school? What have you been doing all evening? Well, first, Hans and I invented and constructed a thinking cap that augmented my brain so I could think up a good topic and drew, and then we drew a few illustrations of. That doesn't sound like a very good time budget to me. I wasn't expecting to get odd, odd, audited so soon. Soon? Great. Just great. Well, let's just stay a f half an hour longer to finish this paper. How am I supposed to do a good job in so little time? Your mom said you wasted the whole evening. And now she's making, but now she's making me do a rush job. S slips hard job I'll have to compromise the quality I won't get the AI I deserve especially since you've used up 15 minutes complaining about it I'll tell the teacher it's my mom's fault what a rotten e evening this was at least you finished your paper yeah I could have done a lot better I finally get to write, get a chance to write about something. I know backwards and forward, backward and forward, and I have to rush the whole thing. Well, with the time available, you could do, you did the best you could, sort of. I guess, I guess, I think geniuses should be given special considerations. My paper is entitled Tyrannosaurus Rex, Fierce Predator or Lowson Scavenger. Ahem, I say Tyrannosaurus were predators because it would be so bogus if they just just ate things that were already dead. The end. <coughs> I'm a concise writer, okay? Miss Wormwood was going to give me a D minus on my paper, but I talked to her after class and told her how I ran out of time and couldn't write all, all I knew about Tyrannosaurus. She, she said I had plenty of time to do the assignment, but she admitted that maybe I picked too complex of a subject. So she raised my grade to, 
to a D and told me I should try to pick realistic goals and plan my time better. I guess we learned a lesson, huh? I'll say smooth talking, talking the teacher really pays off.